peace and love. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Can you tell the difference between the Karen Bash and the Paul Rubens? Leave your guess in the comments below, left or right. Peace and love, creatives. Okay, so as you saw in the title, we are going to put Karen Dash watercolor pencils up against Paul Rubens watercolor pe color pencils. And I felt like it would be a good time to try their pencils on their uh, watercolor blocks. These are uh, Paul Rubens watercolor books. Um, this one says cold press. And I have two. One is in a white book and the other ones are in black. Now this one says cold press too, but if you see the texture on this one, it's more of a hot press kind of texture. I don't know if you can get that. And then this one is more of a cold press texture. So what I'm going to do, use the cold press with the less rough texture. First thing first, I'm going to get the pencils lined up so that I'm taking the right pencil for each color that I'm going to match them up against. I also wanted to let you know that these are not all the Paul Rubens or the Karen Dash that I have. I just tried to match all the colors that I had as closely as possible, so some of them were definitely left out. Okay, so on this side we have Karen Dash, on this side we have Paul Rubens. I don't know if you can see that, but it actually says Palu Rubens. So now that that's done, I'm going to just, um, I'm going to go in like circles and I'm going to make them like really, really like, I'm going in very hard with the circles. Okay. Off the bat, I'm going to tell you that, um, the consistency, like the texture from each the Karen Dash are harder. While the Paul Rubens are creamier. They feel creamier going down. Buttery, you know what I mean? Now, before we do the wetting of the colors, I just want to point out a couple of things. Okay, um, first, um, there's definitely more of a crayon consistency on this side <clears throat> than this side. This is much creamier than this side, but if we look at the pencils themselves, like, they both have the glazed top tips. They both have gold writing on the pencils. Um, this one has star ratings on it, as do the Paul Rubin. But I don't know if that's just for aesthetics because they all have three stars. And the uh, Karen Dash actually vary in their star rating. So I'm going to guess that this one has some kind of light fast information. And uh, the Paul Rubens might, might not. 
you know what I mean? I will look that up and probably put it down somewhere there eventually. Um, so now let's get the paintbrush that I was going to use, which is So first color is the gray. I'm going to see how much of it I can dissolve on the Paul Rubin side. I'll do a couple of these in real time and then we'll speed it up. And then here's the Karen Dash. Paul Rubin. And black for Karen Dash. I'll leave my thoughts of each color for the end of this portion of the video. So I'm going to zoom in on um, the colors while I do the uh, dissolving or putting the water on it, whatever you want to call it, just because I want you to see every shade and how they react to the water i think it's important i mean i am reviewing this technically kind of so i hope that this is uh important for you if not you can speed right past it and continue along on my thoughts um, but i think it's important while i was doing this part of the video I honestly was leaning very very heavily towards the Paul Rubens and this is why swatching is important it is but you know the proof is in the pudding so do the artwork see how it works with the artwork and you might be surprised what your uh, decision is afterwards fun fact Okay, so now that we have swatched all the colors and they're not dry yet, I'll wait for them to dry, but um, things that I can see, um, like differences between the both, I kind of see a little bit more vibrant colors on this side. I also see like... Uh, the dissolving of the color pencil on this side a lot better than this side um you let me know which ones uh you like if this is something that seems better than this i think i would actually prefer these pencils only because I like the versatility uh, versatility of them. I probably uh, would lean toward more towards taking these pencils with me to do some kind of like uh, work with if I'm going to use uh, watercolor pencils, which I don't use much. But I feel like these I can use as watercolor pencils or just as color pencils because of their creaminess. These I probably would use these to like accent because they're a harder uh, point lead and that's probably why we have the um, not the non-dissolving of the actual uh, pencil so 
Now I'm going to use this paper and I'm going to make a piece of art and I'm going to color it with gold pencils. So I left me taking the paper off the block so that you see how the blocks get um, the paper removed. I also left in the sketch because sometimes there are um, some creatives that actually like watching the sketching process. If it's not for you, move on to, you know, the painting process. <laughs> Just skip a little bit. Now, um, as far as the um, doing the different colors with the different pencils, oh my god. <laughs> in the beginning, it was like... I had like 15,000 brain farts. I kept on going for the wrong pencil. I end up having to use an eraser to erase some of the pencil that I put on the wrong side. It was great. It was, it was hilarious. And I'm just like, oh my God, can my brain function enough to do this properly without messing up? And the answer was yes, eventually. But let me tell you, the struggle was real and it was just hilarious. It really was. I give a lot of props to um, artists who do this all the time and are like, you know, they, they're professionals with this. <laughs> it was, it was um, probably the reason why the first time I did something like this, I did two different drawings because I knew, I knew what would happen. <laughs> so upon picking the colors of the, um, for the picture, I decided to use colors that most resembled each other and leave out the colors that, you know, were kind of iffy. So, um, it was, it was, um, it wasn't difficult. It was, it was very fun to do this. And it was like a learning experience because you know what? You go into these reviews or into these, um, verses uh videos and you have your mindset on like yes i know who's gonna win i swatched these colors before and i know who's gonna win <clears throat> because i've seen them in action i got this i know and then you know while you're doing the art you realize that there are pros and cons to both of the supplies that you're using both have strengths both have weaknesses and only when you're doing a piece of art do you realize where the pros and the cons lie so for example right here there was a lot of bleeding with the Paul Rubin color pencils and that's because of their creaminess and how much lay down of the pencil is on the paper versus the Caran d'Ache which are harder and don't lay down as much so there was less bleeding so while my initial thought was, you know, Paul Rubens for the win, now I'm like, you know what? I think they both are really good pencils depending on how you color and how you want to work. Crazy, right? And here with the orange, I messed up. Both oranges are Caran d'Ache because, you know, the brain sometimes and it does and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> But yeah, here's the finished picture. I really, really thought I was gonna like the Paul Rubin side. The Karen Dash uh, side definitely surprised me. And now which is which? Which one is Paul Rubens and which one is Karen Dash? I think you know, cause you can see the pencils, but <laughs> I end up writing the name on top once I'm done with the artwork. Now, the color pencil, the watercolor pencil portion of this is done. If you want to skip past this, you can. This is just me doing some line work with the um, Stabilo fine liners because I felt like it needed a little bit of lining. I, I needed her eyelashes to pop out and stuff like that. And to be honest with you, when I am going to use these pencils, I know for me that I'm not going to use them by themselves. I am going to use other art supplies with them.
So now I'm curious, did I, did you guys guess right? Did you think that the right side was Karen Dash and the left side was Paul Rubens? Um, let me know. This was really fun to do. I had a really fun time doing this. I definitely will try something like this again. So my final thoughts are, yes, Paul Rubens, awesome. Karen Dash, awesome. It was a little muddy on the Paul Rubens side. I have to take that into consideration next time. But uh, yeah, I like both pencils. They're pretty, They're pretty awesome. I want to thank you guys for watching and peace and love. Bye.